worst bite I've ever had from an animal in 20 years on the job. Versus the time a four meter tiger shark nearly took a chunk out of my cameraman's leg. Which of these moments from Deadly 60 do you think's gonna win our Deadly Showdown? I'm Steve Baxter, and in this series, I'm pitting some of the best, the scariest, the most high octane moments from Deadly 60 against each other. But which one do you think is gonna win? This is the battle of the nasty nibbles. Getting the odd scratch or nibble when you're working with wildlife, you know, it kind of comes with the territory. But serious interactions are as rare as snow leopards. They almost never happen, except these two times. So, nasty nibbler number one. Horseback's a fantastic way to go looking for wildlife for a whole bunch of reasons. Horses move at a very natural pace. They're very unlikely to frighten animals off. They're good and quiet. But here in the marshes, it has an extra added advantage, and that's elevation. I'm probably twice as far off the ground as I would be if I was walking, and that means I can see beyond all the reeds and the rushes, and I can also look down into the water and the mud and see what lies beneath. After a couple of days, we had seen next to nothing. And then, out of nowhere, one of the guys on the horse behind me went, Steve, Steve, I just saw something moving down at your horse's hooves. I'm pretty sure it was an anaconda. Something's in here. Charlie, can you take my reins? Yeah. Now, what I've learned over the years working with anacondas is that the way you do it is you go out into the swamps barefoot and you wade around in the mud feeling with your toes. And if you feel something that's quite muscular but yielding below your toes, then it's an anaconda. And if you feel something hard and spiky, then it's a crocodile. Is there anywhere I haven't covered, guys? So this time round, because we were on horseback, I wasn't barefoot, I was wearing boots. I couldn't feel anything with my toes or with my feet. That was a caiman, and I've just been given a really nasty bite. Right. Yes, uh, but no. no. Um, yeah, we need to get back. Now, crocodiles have 60 to 80 cone-shaped teeth, which are, are pretty strong, pretty powerful, and they have the strongest bite force of any group of animals. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> I've just had one of my first nasty bites from an animal. Just trodden on a caiman here and it's uh, whipped round and taken a good chunk out of my leg. Um, so unfortunately, anaconda hunting is off for the rest of the day. So we called in the cavalry and I got taken off to a local medical centre, stitched up underneath a tree outside. I had 10 stitches, but actually it really wasn't that bad. And I was back in searching for snakes the very next day. And now for my second contender. So this is Tiger Beach, except there's no beach and no tigers either. Well, not the obvious kind, anyhow. There are several shark species that are considered to be great sharks. They will eat anything. This is an animal that travels up and down the water column in the sea, just searching for pretty much anything to feed on. I mean, a big tiger shark has teeth and bite force that can get through the shell of a turtle. So this, well, I think it's more for my peace of mind than anything else. Running down the sides, they give it its tiger name. 
One of the things you realize quite quickly working with sharks is they have personality. And very soon we figured out that there were two or three around us. They were as docile as puppy dogs, almost seeking to be stroked. But there was one, one particular tiger shark who was trouble. Look, I'm really nervous about this tiger here. It's a bit, a bit too aggressive for my liking, actually. It really, that one there, it's got attitude. And then, out the corner of my eye, I saw this tiger shark do a loop and come round behind my cameraman and swim right up to him. Eyes started to roll back, its mouth open. It was trying to take a bite out of my cameraman's <coughs> leg. Let's go for your fin, side. No, draw in your foot, draw in your foot, seriously. And I can just remember shouting. Whoa, 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 side, side, side. <sighs> That was enough to get my cameraman to turn around and bump the tiger shark with his camera. If he hadn't done that, it would have been catastrophic. If that had happened, we were a long way away from any help, it would have been all bad. So these were two of the most memorable moments in deadly history, but which one is gonna come out on top in our deadly showdown? I kind of think it's gotta be the croc bite, cause I've got this scar on my leg, which I get to show off at dinner parties and stuff. So I can wander around in the summer in my shorts and go, oh what, this scar? Well that's from that time I got bitten by a crocodile, because I reckon it makes me look all rugged. Doesn't it? But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Make sure to subscribe to BBC Earth Kids to find lots more deadly content and there'll be lots more episodes of Deadly Showdowns as well. So don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.